Maybe it's serendipity or the magic of Christmas. But two North Dakota school teachers, one retired, have met each other in an unpredictable way through the Meals on Wheels program. As WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallivan found out today, the chance meeting revealed one incredible shared teaching moment. He'll come in. Hang on one second, guys. <laughs> Helma Mitchell sure looks forward to this visit. Her Meals on Wheels team of Bruce and Judy Seibel and grandson Eddie. Come here. Here, here's hey, your bag. Hey, you got to give Helma the bag. Delivering noon lunch to the retired Fargo school teacher during the week. Well, thank you. You bought my lunch. You're a good guy. Helma no. is about to turn 102. Born on a farm near Kindred, she taught school in Aneta in 1940 and then later came to teach in Fargo. I love teaching. Every day was special because you, you have different students and they inspire you as much as ever. When Helma told her Meals on Wheels family that she was a longtime teacher in Fargo, 35 years, they quickly told her about their daughter, Emily, also a Fargo teacher. Emily wanted to meet Helma. So then one day I happened, there was no school, so I went with and walked in with Eddie, and then we were talking, and she asked me where my classroom was, and I said, well, you go up the stairs, you take a right, and she said, that was my classroom. So it's just really neat and special to have that connection. That's right, room 106 at Horace Mann, where Emily teaches first grade today. In my house. Too late house. Is not only the same school, but the same room that Helma got her start at Horace Mann back in 1959. Yes, it was just kind of exciting, you know, because that didn't happen very often. What's more, Santa Bruce is going to deliver presents to all of your kids tonight. All because volunteers with Meals on Wheels took the time to not only bring a meal to Helma. Who is that lady? My mom. Is that your mom? <laughs> but become like family to her. And now this connection she celebrates as she prepares to mark 102 years in North Dakota. Kevin Wallivan, WDAY News. And by the way, Helma also taught at Washington Elementary in North Fargo for more than 20 years, all in the same room. What a beautiful connection. And we could say, Helma, you wouldn't recognize the school or the students <laughs> not. today, right? <laughs> not.